evaluate without a calculator root of 348.9424. First, we separate the numbers, digits into pairs starting at the decimal point. So we have 8494 and 24. We write a decimal point for the quotient directly above the decimal point of the number. Next, we find the largest integer n whose square is less than or equal to the leftmost number or power. We know that one squared is one, two squared is four. So we write one as the divisor and one as the quotient, the product of the divisor and the quotient is one. So we write one below three. Next, we subtract the product calculated. Three minus one is two. Then we drop down the next pair. So we write 48 after two. Now we multiply the current quotient by two. So one times two is two so we write two here now we try to find the next largest quotient digit that is the same as the last digit of the divisor such that the product is less than or equal to the remainder so we try nine 29 times 9 is greater than 248. We try 8 and write 8 here. And we write 8 here. 28 times 8 is 224. Now we go back to step three, 248 minus 224 is 24. Then we drop down the next pair and write 94 after 24. Then we multiply the current quotient by 2. The current quotient is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. Then we try the next largest quotient digit that is the same as the last digit of the divisor such that the product is less than or equal to the remainder. We find that 6 is the largest digit. So we write 6 here and 6 here. Then we multiply the divisor by the next quotient digit. So we multiply 300 and 66 by 6, which is 2,196. Then we go back to step 3. We subtract 2,196 from 2,400 and 94 and we have 
298. We drop down the next pair and write 24 after 298. Next, we multiply the current quotients by 2. So we multiply 186 by 2, which is 372. Then we try the next largest quotient digit that is the same as the last digit of the divisor, such that the product is less than or equal to the remainder. We find that 8 is the largest digit, such that the product is less than or equal to the remainder. So we write 8 here and 8 here. Now we multiply the divisor by the next quotient digit. So we multiply 3,728 by 8, which is 29,824. Then we go back to step 3. We subtract 29,824 from 29,824. We have zero. So root of 348.424 is 18.68. Now we have an additional problem. Evaluate without a calculator root of 616.5289 